Government earlier announced it had reached an agreement on a memorandum of understanding with its official credit card committee, a significant step in the disbursement of the third tranche of IMF financing amounting to $360 million. But according to economist Dr. Saad Idrisu, the funding support received so far is yet to yield the desired results. It's good that we are getting assurances from the IMF that the country may be getting the third tranche payment very soon. But what happened to the first and the second tranche payment? What are the first and the second tranche payment? What has been the economic impact so far on the economy? I think that is something that every Ghanaian needs to know. And the finance minister or the finance ministry must be held accountable. Parliament needs to hold the finance minister accountable. The Memorandum of Understanding on Debt Restructuring with its official creditor committee marks a significant step in Ghana's journey to economic recovery after debt default since December 18, 2022. Chief Executive of Dalex Finance, Joe Jackson, noted that this could provide access to international finance market, opening the door for government and private companies to raise funds. He, however, cautions that resuming debt servicing could exert pressure on the city. Once this agreement is signed, we're going to have to start paying back the coupon rates on the money we have borrowed. That means we're going to get soon get to the point where there's extra pressure on the CD. Because the little dollars that are available, the government is going to have to take some and go and pay those creditors. Good thing. Significant event. But like everything else, there's also a dark shadow. 